Hi, this is Theo Malosis, and in this short video I'm going to show you how to use the autoresponder feature in OMS, in the OGI marketing system. For those who are new to the internet marketing lingo, uh, autoresponders are sequences of emails that are written once, and then we can schedule the exact uh, time that this will be sent to a prospect, depending on the time that they, they put their uh, information, the time that they opted in, in one of our contact forms, in one of our pages. So let's go and see how to do that. Under my mail, we click, bro we click autoresponders. Autoresponders. And then to create a new message, we click create new autoresponder message. First we choose uh, the email account from which the email uh, will be sent. And this is something that you can set up in my account under my email addresses. And there's a, yeah, there's, a, there's a separate video showing how to do that. Then we can choose uh, the subject. And then it helps if we've already written our email, uh, have uh, corrected it, and just copy and paste it into the appropriate field. So I'll pretend this is my email. I'm pasting it in. And then we can format it. Uh, and any way we want. So for example, I can change the word corpora into a link by pressing this button and then uh, copying the, the web address to which I want to send my prospect. There. Now if they click on the word, they'll, they'll go to the page I'm sending them. Uh, we can also insert a picture by clicking this image and we can choose an image that's already been uploaded to the server or we can choose to upload a picture right now from our computer and of course we can change the size uh, and hoping that the lock is, uh, is closed so that uh, both, uh, both uh, dimensions change accordingly we can change the alignment from left to right and by clicking OK we have our image uh, one thing we can do is we can personalize the, uh, the message. So instead of something impersonal at the beginning, we can say hello and then use the name of the person who opted in. So uh, we click on codes, which gives us a list of codes together with a hashtag which correspond to specific fields in the email form. So if I want to grab the person's name, I just copy the first name code paste it to my message. Oops, that didn't work well. Let's try it one more time. I'm copying first name and pasting it in. And now the message is going to be more personal. Also the system automatically inserts uh, a text at the end of the message um, uh, telling the prospect that if they're not interested they can unsubscribe. So this is as far. Uh, this is uh, what we can do regarding formatting, and we can also change the, the background color. Then we decide uh, the, uh, we have to choose the pages and the contact lists with which we want uh, we want to associate the email. So, for example, let's say I want uh, I want the people who opt in in this page to receive this message, and then we choose the time when the message will be sent. Zero corresponds to the exact time a person opts in. One corresponds to 24 hours later, two, three, etc. We click on create the responder message. The system tells us that there are already 17 uh, contacts already in the list that could receive the message that we're creating. We respond by saying no or yes, depending on what we want. I'll choose no for the moment. And then our autoresponder message is created. Now let's go and find it. It's in this list. It's in this filter. We have to locate the page with which we associated it. It was this one. And now we can see the list of emails that have already been written together with a new one. This one called Welcome. I can go to Edit and Delete it since this was just a demo. But I also have the options to quick edit it, which means that without going to the full email message, I can change the pages and the contact lists 
uh, to which they're associated, and I can change the day the person receives it. I can go and uh, edit it and change the, te the text, change the subject, uh, make all the, any, any change necessary. And what's most important, I can click on statistics, click on view statistics depending on the page, and then as soon as the system uh, loads all the information, I get a brief statistic saying that uh, 17 emails have been sent, 10 of them uh, have been opened, none of them was clicked. I can click on the message title and I get all the information regarding the people it was sent to. I can get all the information they, they opted, opted in. I can see um, who opened and who didn't open the email, the time they opened the email, whether they clicked or not. And also, I can click on the pencil and go and edit the specific person's information or I can click the button right next to it, which gives me the statistics of the specific person. So I can see that four emails have been sent, I can see the time they were sent, none of them was open, and none of them was clicked. One important thing is that when I'm in the autoresponder statistics, I can click on broadcast options, and I can choose to broadcast a message, a specific email, uh, to those who opened it, to those who haven't opened it, to those who clicked or who haven't clicked. So depending on my, on my strategy and on my campaign, I can choose to target uh, specific subgroups of my prospects. Well, that's all information regarding the autoresponders.